Welcome to the Shano School District Sports Participant video. Any Shano Community High School student planning to participate in Shano Athletics must view this video along with his or her parent. You also need to submit all the eligibility documents by reading, signing, and turning into the high school office prior to the first practice. This video has been made for your convenience. Packets of forms are still available in the high school office if needed. Hello, my name is Charmaine Schreiber, Activities Director. This video will be covering all pertinent information needed to be a participant in Shano Athletics. Our athletic department is governed by the Wisconsin Athletic Association, which will be referred to as a WIAA, NFHS, National Federation of High School Sports and the Shano School District. It is a requirement of the membership of the WIAA in order for students to participate in the interscholastic competitive sports. There must be written documentation on file that students have been duly notified of the rules and regulations for participation. Parents, I will review the general overall expectations for student athletes, the chain of communication, policies and procedures, and helpful tips for a successful experience for all involved. Following this video, please review the activities code with your student athlete. It is the position of the Shano Community School District that involvement in co-curricular activities is a privilege with accompanying responsibilities and expectations. It is the interest of the school and community that equitable standards for participation be established and administered. These standards should include, but are not limited to, performance, academically, personal behavior, and avoidance of mood altering chemicals. The opportunity to participate in co-curricular activity program is extended to all students who are willing to assume the responsibilities. To be a credit to self, family, school, and community, a student is expected to display high standards of behavior, exemplify good sportsmanship, show respect for others, and meet all WIAA and Shano eligibility requirements. Now let's introduce the forms. Forms may be found on www.shanoschools.com. First, the physical clearance form or alternate year card. Second, Activities Code Parent and Student Agreement. This document should be signed and dated after carefully reading the Shano Activities Code, which goes into greater detail of Shano Activities procedures and expectations. Third, Acknowledgement of Warning Form. Shano Community School District will strive to make all events as safe as possible. However, participation in any activity can be dangerous. Temporary or permanent injury can occur, as well as death in any sport or activity there is an inherent risk in participating in activities. Fourth, WIAA Eligibility Information Bulletin. This is a condensed version of all WIAA rules. Parent and student must sign the end date, the last half page. Keep the rest of the document for your reference. Fifth, WIAA Concussion Parent and Athlete Form. This is a state of Wisconsin form which is required by law to inform parents and students the signs and symptoms of a concussion. Parents must read the fact sheet for parents and students read the fact sheet for students. After reading, the parent and student must sign the last page only and keep the fact sheet for your records. Six, Theta Care Disclosure HIPAA form. This only needs to be filled out if this is your first year in Shano Athletics. Otherwise, we already have the form on file. This form allows the athletic trainer to share information with coaches and doctors to properly treat athletic injuries and assist in rehabilitation. This is only needed once in a high school career. Emergency medical information form. Eligibility checklist. This document is available only through the website. Use this checklist to make sure you have completed all of the required documents. Finally, the parent and student athlete must sign and date this document indicating you have read understand and agree to abide by all the information contained in these documents and have watched this video. Lastly, a $15 fee is due for each sport. Should you have any questions regarding this video, eligibility checklist, or any of the eligibility documents, please contact Athletic Secretary Mrs. Jane Peterson at extension 8107. Academics. In order to maintain academic eligibility, a student may not have more than one failure per gr progress grading period. A student may not have any failing grades at the end of the semester grading period. 
a student not meeting this requirement shall be ineligible for competition for a period of not less than 15 consecutive scheduled school days, including the next competition. A student may be reinstated if at the end of the ineligible period, he or she is passing all classes. Once the student has been reinstated, he or she must continue to do passing work in all of their classes in order to remain eligible for the remainder of that grading period. Students who are under academic suspension may be allowed to, protect, to practice with the approval of the coach and activities director if after the 15-day suspension, the student is still academically ineligible, the student will not be allowed to participate for the remainder of the grading period. Students' second semester grades will be used to determine eligibility for the fall seasons of the following year. Attendance. Unless excused by an administrator, students must be in school by 9.15 a.m. on the day of practice or contest. Exceptions include professional, prearranged professional appointments, school trips or visits, funerals, weddings, voting, family emergencies, etc. Students who go home ill any time during the day are not permitted to participate on that day. Practice and competition attendance is mandatory. Each coach will establish their attendance policies detailing their expectations and consequences for missing a practice or competition. Coaches must be pri notified prior to the practice or competition if there is going to be an absence. Communication protocol. Communication within an athletic department is an integral part to the overall success of the athletic program. A ladder of responsibility approach can be very effective in making sure all parties involved are communicating effectively. Parents, encourage your athlete to speak to their coach first and foster this very important relationship. The communication chain is as follows. First, the athlete will speak to the coach. Second, parent will arrange a meeting with the coach. Third, parent will arrange a meeting with the athletic director. Fourth, the athletic director will arrange a meeting with the parent and the coach. Communication you should expect from the coach. Philosophy of the coach, individual and team expectations, locations and times of all practices and contests, any special team requirements, Procedures followed should your child be injured. Discipline which may result in denial of your child's participation. This information will be covered at parent meetings which will take place during the first two weeks of each season. Communication coaches expect from parents. Concerns are expressed directly to the coach. Notification of any scheduled conflicts well in advance. Specific concerns with regard to coach's philosophy and or expectations. Support for the program. Appropriate concerns to discuss with coaches. The treatment of your child mentally and physically. Ways to help your child improve performance. Concerns about your child's behavior. Injuries and or medical conditions. Issues not appropriate to discuss with coaches. Parents, these are non-negotiables. First, playing time. Team strategy, play calling, and finally, other student athletes. Procedure to discuss concerns with coaches. Call or email to set up an appointment. If the coach cannot be reached, call the athletic director, myself, at extension 8103, and I will set up a meeting for you. Do not attempt to confront a coach before or after a contest or practice. What can you expect from Shawano Community High School? Students have a right to be treated with dignity and respect. Students have a right to safe equipment and safe environments. The following rules of coaching and parent contact will be strictly enforced and are not up for debate. Coaches decide on practice and game strategy as well as game decisions. They are more prepared with the game, the players, the opponent, the situation, and the game plan than anyone else. Coaches decide on an athlete's playing time during a contest as well as what team the athlete will be assigned. Your child should be the person to talk to the coach about playing time questions. Speak to a coach immediately before, speaking to a coach immediately before or after a contest concerning an issue with your child, the team, or the coach is not appropriate. If an issue arises, please wait 24 hours before contacting the coach. 
things often seem a little different by waiting that extra day. Contact. Eligibility rules and activities code are enforced 365 days of the year. If you pledge to be an athlete, you pledge to follow the eligibility rules and the activities code of conduct. With privilege comes responsibility. Please refer to the activities code for specific consequences regarding code violations. Conduct violations which require activity suspensions will be decided by the activities council and will be based upon the severity of the offense. A student who is suspended from 10% or more of total competitions within a season will forfeit all awards for the activity season in which he or she is participating at the time of the infraction or at the start of the sus suspension. Shawano Community High School encourages safe and responsible student behavior with regard to the internet. Any identifiable image, photo, or video, or posted online conversation discovered which implicates a student to have been in violation of our alcohol and drug policy or our code of conduct will be investigated and action will be taken by the administration. Shawano Community School District recognizes and supports a student's athlete's right to freedom of speech, expression, and association, including the use of social networks. In this context, each student must remember that participating and, and competing for Shawano Community High School is a privilege, not a right. The student represents his or her school and district and is expected to portray themselves, their team, and their high school in a positive manner at all times. Any online posting must be consistent with federal and state laws, as well as school and district rules and regulations. Please keep in mind, the Shawano School District may have stricter guidelines than the WIAA, and coaches may have stricter guidelines within their own programs. Each program will host a parent meeting where program policies and expectations will be reviewed. Transportation. Student athletes are expected to ride the bus with the team to and from a contest. Riding the team bus together is important for team unity. If there is an exception, a transportation waiver must be completed and turned into the high school prior to the contest. This form can be found on the website under documents and forms. Sports injuries. The Shawano School District does not provide any form of medical insurance to students participating in athletics through the district. Any medical expenses incurred by a student are the responsibility of the student or parent guardian, including any physical examination required for participation in athletics. Notify the coaching staff and the athletic trainer with the pre-existing conditions. Sports medicine services are provided by the Theta Care Physicians and Shano Sports Medicine Licensed Certified Athletic Trainers, Mrs. Sally Egan and Ms. Ellie Koshik. All injuries need to be reported to the athletic trainer and the coaching staff and they will work together to get your son or daughter back into participation as quickly and safely as possible. Mrs. Egan will follow up on all reported injuries and may also recommend taking your child to a doctor if the injury needs further care. She can recommend specialists if needed. Please bring back a written note or release any time a physician is visited. The school recommends to parents, after every contest, tell your son or daughter, I really love watching you play. Regardless of the outcome or situation, your child will know you were there for them. Support the coach in school. Everyone wants to be successful. Our coaches teach life lessons as well as the activity. Positive contact with coaches is encouraged. Please feel free to contact coaches with any questions throughout the season. Parents, please support the officials. We hire only WIAA certified officials. It is a privilege to attend events where your child is participating. Please display good sportsmanship for all participants, including the opposition and officials. Help all fans model positive sportsmanship. Please refer to the eight parental support tips. Number one, be your child's number one fan. Two, support and cheer for all players on the team. Three, encourage your child to talk with the coaches and follow the communication chain. Four, understand and display appropriate game behavior. Five, monitor eating and sleeping habits of your student athlete. Six, help your child keep their priorities straight. Seven, keep athletics in perspective. Eight, enjoy the athletic experience and have fun. Important resources. 
All cancellations, changes, and updates of school activities are made on the high school athletic website the instant they are known. To access all eligibility forms and sports schedules, go through the district website at www.shanoschools.com. For sports schedules, go to the individual sport website or the activities homepage and click on Bay Conference. For additional information or questions, please contact your coach concerning the specifics of the program or Charmaine Schreiber Activities Director. Remember to fill out all six forms, seven forms if this is your first time in a high school sport, and turn into the high school office before the first practice. This concludes the Shano School District Sports eligibility video. Parents, we appreciate your support and look forward to a positive partnership. Students, remember it is a privilege to wear a Hawk uniform. Live the Hawk way. Be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Go Hawks!